Hey guys, welcome back to Andy's Dinosaur Reviews, and today we have two insanely cool figures to take a look at, two that I have been very much so anticipating, and potentially two of Rebor's best figures of all time. We've got ourselves Tyrannosaurus Rex, Kiss, and Tusk. You can see Kiss is the mountain version, Tusk is the King T-Rex Requiem, and... They are both in 1 35th scale, and you can see the front of the box outside of the titles and everything are pretty much the same. We've got a really cool black box with a nice silhouette of the Rex, and then of course the skeletal reconstruction there within that silhouette. And then if we turn the box around and we take a look here at the back, you can see a plethora of other Rebor releases from the beginning of Rebor's time here with us. You can see we started with the Y-Rex, the U-Tyrannus, and now we are all the way up to Kiss and Tusk. So lots of awesome figures have come from Rebor over the years, even more so than you actually see here as they've had other stuff in their line, like their Oddities line and stuff like that. But still looking really cool as far as the amount of species they've released really have released a lot of awesome figures but i'm extremely excited to pop these out of the box and check them both out so let's do that right now so with kiss and tusk you get a little stand here to help your tyrannosaurus stand if you happen to have any issues in the future and you get the return of the art card. Now, they have done this a few times recently, and I think they always seem to do it with the more mainline figures and then sometimes leave them out with other things like the Oddities line and stuff like that. But I love these art cards. I love the fact that they include them. There's just some really cool information over here and then some beautiful images that they always include on these cards. And, of course, you get one with both Tyrannosaurus. So whether you get Kiss or Tusk, you always get one of these. But here is Tusk our massive t-rex and then we've got ourselves kiss who i don't really know what would be the best way to put the two of them in here i guess like this maybe potentially yeah sure that works so there's kiss and tusk and we now have both tyrannosaurs here before us and uh definitely awesome looking like really really nice looking however i am surprised to say that i think i like tusk's paint job a little bit better than i like kiss i thought for sure the entire time leading up to this i was going to love the coloration of kiss a lot more just because i like the dark tones on the face and that light wash they've included it just looks super super realistic to me but the dark wash that they've applied to Tusk just looks so good. Like, they really did do a fantastic job of making that paint job look way more realistic and lifelike than I was expecting them to. Uh, man, it's really hard, but I like the kind of lip addition to Kiss over Tusk. So, I don't know. I mean, this one's really tough. They're both actually fantastic here in person. Two insanely awesome looking T-Rex figures and... I would say that there's a good chance this is Rebor's best figure yet. There's a very, very good chance of that because they are just phenomenal looking Tyrannosaurs. But the only way to truly tell how phenomenal is with a closer look. So let's jump to that right now. So we will begin with Kiss. And you can see that as far as the head sculpt goes and the detail contained within, it is incredible. Absolutely phenomenal looking detail on this Tyrannosaurus. And this one specifically, at least in the head area, has been brought out so beautifully with the expert like paintwork. I really, really love the way that they've painted this with the really nice dark tones of color here on the face, but then that nice lighter wash. It just looks so reptilian, so realistic, exactly the type of color I honestly would expect to see on a Tyrannosaur. And I love the addition of the kind of reddish tones up here on the top, making it look a little bit flashy but continuing to have that dark tone and I love how smooth the transition is from that red down back into that blackish tone of color that we have for the face and they've applied this really nice light wash to the head that highlights the detail again so beautifully and so realistically and honestly I thought it was originally a tan but I can almost see like a greenish tint to it so very neat looking paintwork here and of course the addition of lips on kiss make it look so again beautiful but also just so up to date as far as the way we perceive tyrannosaurus you can also see the nostrils scoped it out right there there's some very nice paintwork up here in the eye as you can see it kind of darkens around the eye the eye itself has a gold tone of color to it in a black pupil i have stated in the past i'm not a big fan of the gold look for dinosaurs eyes i don't think they had golden eyes but 
it looks good in a way on this one because the coloration is so dark in that area and that gold really shines. However, I personally would have preferred a different tone of color because, again, I'm not a huge fan of gold. I like how they've also applied just a little bit of red right here. And you can see that the detailing here on the lower jaw is also phenomenal. Like, there are so many different varying sizes of scales on this. You can see it has taken them a very long time, I'm sure, to sculpt out the insane amount of detail that you see on this tyrannosaur and of course you do have an articulated jaw and you can see that the detailing on the inside of the mouth looks pretty good we've got a nice kind of a light tone there for the tongue beautiful textured tongue and wow look at that the detail on the inside of the mouth is insane that is really really impressive it's a little hard to get in there especially when the shadows kind of overtake it but once you actually do get some light shed on that area that's probably some of the most impressive detailing that I've ever seen on the inside of the mouth of a model. And you've also got some really nicely sculpted out teeth in there. And they, of course, have that classic material that Rebor uses to give them an incredibly realistic appearance. Rebor definitely is one of the best companies when it comes to providing a very realistic look to the inside of the model's mouth. And you can without question see that here on this Tyrannosaurus. And then we close the mouth and the mouth closes very nicely. As you start to lead back here into the neck of our Tyrannosaurus Rex, you can see the ear is sculpted and highlighted with a darker tone. We continue to have that light wash. And you can also see as we move up here to the top of the head, there are some slight hints of that kind of reddish tone up here on the top of the head as well, which is pretty cool to see. Some nice kind of wrinkling increasing here as you move down the course of the neck because the Tyrannosaur has its head turned to the right, so you would definitely be seeing that. Beautiful looking skin detail as well as you continue to move down lots of skin wrinkles leading down into the underside of the throat and the throat itself kind of has a little bit of saggy skin to it which looks pretty neat really smooth transition to that light tone for the underside and you can see the dark wash has been applied down here to the lighter tone of color on the underside of the rex as you move down we start to transition away from that darker tone to kind of like a reddish brown for the body but we continue to have that kind of light tannish wash down here in the body which looks really neat you can definitely see some major girth and a very very impressive size to the body of our rex and of course our tiny arms here for our tyrannosaurus some nice muscle definition contained within those arms and beautiful paintwork as well as you can see quite a bit of different varying tones of color in the hands and arms of the rex and you can also see the nails are painted pretty nicely both arms currently are held into the body but and it's going to be a little bit frightening to do this. I'm trying to move the arms. They're very stiff right now, but the arms are absolutely articulated. I know they are. These ones are currently stuck a little bit. I might have to uh, warm those up with some warm water to kind of get them to move. But I actually like the position they're in. I feel like that's a nice natural spot for them. Look at the girth of the stomach here on the underside of this Rex, though. It is massive. You can also see some insanely nice looking detailing to the texture of the skin and everything here on the underside. It looks beautiful and also beautiful paintwork down there. Really, really cool looking. Lots of nice skin detail here in the stomach region as well, especially leading off here to the thigh as the legs trailing stretching the skin very nicely you can also see that we do have a striping running along the back very subtle and it is a black striping similar actually to the color that we have here but it's not like super thick and super obvious it's just a really subtle striping which i think looks great you can see the hip bone right there some beautiful skin wrinkling in front of the thigh and an absolutely massive thigh with some very large musculature sculpted out to it as well as a lot of skin texture and you know skin detail wrinkling and increasing and stuff but you can also see the stripes leading down the thigh here of this rex which looks pretty cool as you move down you've got a very big bulging calf muscle as well with some more phenomenal skin texture you can kind of see that kind of light wash as well leading down the front of the leg and that light wash really appears again down here in the foot and i love when they do this because it's just so realistic looking to me because it really does look if you look at an emu's foot it looks very similar to this with the kind of light coloration through the scales and everything on the feet again that's pretty much exactly how a modern day emu looks and i really like that they have that same type of look here for this t-rex making it look incredibly realistic nice scoots down the front of the foot down into the toes 
and everything really does look great down here and it again is all highlighted very nicely with that light wash they've given it and you can see that we do have dew claws as well which are a huge plus and then leading up here into the tail this is one spot I've heard some people complaining about because the tails haven't been connecting perfectly on their models there is definitely a little gap on mine I don't know how big the gap is on the opposing side so it's definitely more obvious over here, but I have heard that people just push it together and they glue it on there. And since I don't ever take the tails off of my models, I'm going to, of course, always leave the tail on. That might be what I'll do. I'll probably glue the tails on just to stop that seam from being so obvious. But as you lead up here into the tail, you can continue to see again that really nice looking skin texture. You can also see the lighter coloration kind of transitions from that light white to a light yellow out here on the tail. And it also has that dark wash, which helps to again make it look just really realistic. And I like how the transition is here. We kind of have more of like a abrupt transition, but it looks nice. I really do like that. And you can also see we have some light gray striping that runs down the course of the tail. Subtle striping, similar subtle striping to the black but now it's gray and then we lead out to the tail and we kind of actually turn back to those black stripes there at the tip of the tail of course the tail is articulated it is a wire tail so you can put the tail pretty much in any position you would like so you do have the ability to manipulate the tail and then of course arm articulation and jaw articulation so some decent amounts of articulation for something like this and you can again see that the sculpt and everything in paintwork looks pretty much the same as it did on the initial side over here on the left side of our Rex. It looks absolutely drop dead gorgeous on both sides. Incredibly realistic. Again, very nicely painted eye. And then moving back into the neck, you can just see the big bulkiness of the neck of this Tyrannosaurus as well as just again really really nice transitions between colors the paintwork of this might be some of rebor's best that they've ever had i'm actually pretty confident in saying that but as you move down again into the body you can see a little less of the stomach over here because the legs pushing into the stomach as it's taking a step forward the leg is leading over here on this side and uh, again detail wise it all looks great over here we continue to have that nice light wash making all the detail pop in a very realistic way you've got the hip bone again protruding from the skin right there as well as the immense musculature of the thigh and calf as you move down just showing that this dinosaur is incredibly strong really nice transition as we transition to that coloration that kind of dark color that dark gray like we see in the face and again you have that nice light wash highlighting all of the detail giving it just that super bird like look and it just looks so realistic insanely beautiful paintwork on this rex and then here on the underside you can continue to see how nice the detailing is as you lead out into the tail and we transition to kind of like that yellowish tone and then of course we lead out the length of the tail which doesn't really look any different than what we had just seen on the initial side so kiss is gorgeous but then we've got Tusk, and Tusk is almost the same figure, but the only difference between Tusk and Kiss would be the head sculpt. And as you can see, the head sculpt of this one, rather than having lips, we now have our teeth on the outside here of the mouth of the lower jaw, kind of uh, obviously a lipless version. So we have the best of both worlds when it comes to this Tyrannosaurus. But you can also see again that the coloration is quite different between Kiss and Tusk, and the coloration is a lot lighter in the face on this one, although we do have some of those darker tones here leading near the mouth and the jawline, but you can see that we have kind of like a nice lighter tone of like a reddish brown for the majority of the face. It's all been given a nice dark wash rather than a light wash like we saw on Kiss. You of course do have an articulated jaw on this one as well. Different tones of color used for the inside of the mouth on this one. You can specifically see that there in the tongue. This one also has potentially a wash on the tongue as well, which I didn't really pick up on on Kiss. And you can also see the teeth look great and everything does have a gloss coat on the inside of the mouth, just like we saw as uh, Kiss had had a nice gloss coat on the inside of the mouth. Tusk does as well. There is a slight difference in coloration as you lead up here over the eyebrow area as we again have a reddish tone in that area and you can also see the eyes darken there. And then of course we again have the gold eye. If we take a look here from the front you can see the Rex is looking directly at us which is super super cool. And then you can see that this one has a very strong dark wash especially on the top. There's also some uh, shading of like a dark brown it looks like up here on the top it starts here on the top of the head and you can see it runs down through the course of the body so rather than a striping like we saw 
on Kiss, we just have some nice darker tones on the top of this one. But as you move through the course of the body, you can see again that we have quite a bit of variation of color, but it's not any type of like really drastic difference in color, really subtle color changes on this one. You can see a really nice light tone here for the lower jaw. Again, the dark wash has highlighted that very nicely as well. That light tone continues to run here along the underside of the Rex, but you can see a really smooth transition as we lead down from the dark back area. And you can see that we lighten up in the stomach region as well here of Tusk. Again, with that same light tone that we have for the underside. Let's see if we can articulate the arms. So the arms are working on this one. You can see they're not kind of stuck or stiff. So the other one will just have to heat up and then get those arms in working condition. But the paintwork of this one, I think, is just as nice as Kiss was. And that's something, again, that I honestly didn't expect because the images I had seen of this one, I thought it looked great, but I wasn't as impressed with it as I was with Kiss. But honestly, Tusk is really, really making a mad dash for being my favorite here. And you can again see just really subtle differences of color. It's like really cool to look at in a nice light and pick up on how they've painted this one. And we do transition to kind of a darker tone, but it's more like a darker dry brushing that they've given it down here while continuing to have that kind of brown in the feet. And you can see that the nails are a lighter tone on this one as we have kind of like a light gray with a dry brushing of a black over top. Same deal there for the dew claw. And then as we lead up into the tail, you can continue to see that light coloration. It kind of stripes back and forth here as that kind of brown stripes down and the lighter tone stripes up. Really, really cool looking striping as we lead out the length of the tail. And of course, yet again, it is a wire tail for you to position it however you would like. You can really pick up on the dark wash here of the underside of the Rex. Look at how amazing the detailing is down here. But uh, definitely some nice paintwork on this one as well. If they had the same sculpt in the head, I would almost think this would be like more of a, uh, maybe a male. And maybe the other one would be a female. I originally for some reason thought that Kiss looked more male, Tusk looks more female. But who knows, it could be wrong. Regardless, I guess we couldn't really look at them that way since they have entirely different head sculpts in the jawline. But you can see that the paint and everything looks great over here. Of course, as you move through, you can see the ear is highlighted with that darker tone of color. And then again, all of it is very precise, pretty much looks exactly the same as it did on the initial side. So definitely another awesome Rex. These are both fantastic releases. You can again see that little seam there in the tail. I'll have to glue. But both are fantastic releases. No matter which Rex you choose, you're getting one incredible Rebore release. As far as a size goes, they definitely have some pretty good size to them. So for a length, you're looking at about 16, maybe closing it on 16 and a quarter inches or around 41 centimeters, maybe a little bit over. And then for a height, about just shy of five and a quarter inches or a little over 13 centimeters, maybe closing in on 13 and a half. For a size comparison, we've got one of the most classic Tyrannosaurs ever with Mr. Papo T-Rex, as well as Robert Muldoon and the Attack Pack Colovasaurus here standing in to give us a good idea of the size. And you can definitely see that these are very, very girthy figures. They're very large, very impressive looking overall. So uh, size wise, they are, I would say, just as impressive as the sculpt and paint is. And then for a comparison that many people are probably intrigued to see, we've got Wilson from PNSO next to our Rebore Tyrannosaurus Rex. So when it comes to accurate Tyrannosaurs, you've got two really cool choices here and uh, definitely two beautiful figures. However, Rebores, of course, does have lips, so we have a little bit more of an accurate look, I would say, as far as the way we currently perceive Tyrannosaurus on uh, Kiss over here from Rebore. But both are incredible Tyrannosaurs and fairly similar in size, although Rebors is definitely a little bit bigger. And then when it comes to Rebor Tyrannosaurs, we have the Killer Queen here from Rebor, which honestly, when I go back and revisit the Killer Queen and look at that Rex compared to this newer Rex from Rebor, it's like, wow, that is... There's a drastic difference in quality, like Rebor has really stepped it up. Just looking at the overall sculpt and skin texture and everything on Kiss over here compared to the Killer Queen, there is a major difference in sculpt quality as well as paint quality and just in general the overall feel of both figures. The Kiss that we have over here is of a much higher quality feel than the Killer Queen was, but... Uh, very similar in size, I would say, although I think the Killer Queen might be slightly larger, maybe slightly taller, because it's based on the Jurassic Park T-Rex rather than the more accurate version right here with Kiss. 
And then for one final comparison, we've got Rebor Kiss here. Again, Tusk is the same size, but we have Kiss next to a Mattel Velociraptor. And I feel like I always like to bring in a Mattel Velociraptor because that's that one figure that so many people have if you are a collector, at least of the Mattel line. In this instance, you may not have it because a lot of people that collect figures like Rebor and more high quality dinosaurs don't really collect the Mattel line, but there are also a strong mixture of people that do collect both so i like to bring in the mattel raptor as a size comparison from time to time i don't really have too many more uh, recently updated tyrannosaurs to give us that more you know accurate look so i don't have all that many to compare with the rebor version currently but hopefully that will change at some point in the near future so this brand new rebor kiss and tusk tyrannosaurus rex are both incredible releases from rebor and easily two of their best potentially their best overall like of all time there is a very strong possibility that i would rank these as the best models that rebor has released because sculpt wise they are both phenomenal of course capturing everything that we love and know about tyrannosaurus at this point in time before things change again but uh as of right now i would say that these are probably two of the nicest most accurate looking tyrannosaurs that are on the market from anyone and uh i think anybody that's trying to make one will have a pretty hard time dethroning these tyrannosaurs from rebor because they really are amazing we have that very big bulky kind of thick look that we like to see on our tyrannosaurus currently and then you of course have the addition of having a lip version or a lipless version so you can go ahead and choose whichever one you prefer personally i'm more of a lip kind of a guy i like the tyrannosaurus appearance with lips so i'm leaning a little bit more toward kiss at this point as far as my favorite goes but tusk is like right there with kiss as far as the overall quality and beauty goes the paintwork though of kiss is really nicely done and i feel like it's just a little bit more realistic than tusk not by much because tusk also looks fantastic but as far as what i would like in my head the way i vision a tyrannosaur i feel like it would look very similar to what we see here on the kiss version and all of the paintwork on kiss is so beautifully and realistically applied like it genuinely looks like a living breathing animal especially in the face the way they have painted the face of that rex is so impressive i can't even begin to describe how impressive until you actually purchase it you see the figure in person you'll really be able to appreciate how fantastic the paintwork is in that area but even through the entire thing they've done a great job of giving it a very realistic paint job with really really nice light washes and color difference that help to give it an incredibly realistic appearance and then of course tusk also looks beautiful sporting a very similar type of a look of course to kiss because it's the same body sculpt just a different head sculpt or actually i don't even know if i could say it's an entirely different head sculpt the head sculpt in general is very similar but pretty much the mouth is the only difference it seems and uh again the paintwork of tusk as well is fantastic it also looks incredibly realistic and lifelike and 100 percent could be the coloration of a tyrannosaur and it looks like it could be so rebor did do a great job of choosing the colorations of both of these models to give them a kind of flashy look but at the same time an incredibly lifelike and realistic look i also love the fact that they're quite sizable and on top of that they have articulation which is pretty fun like the jaw articulation, the arm articulation, and a wire tail to display them and pose them however you would like. So that aspect is really cool as well. So honestly, as a whole, both of these figures far exceeded my expectations and are easily two of the nicest Tyrannosaur figures you'll ever see. And uh, definitely two figures I highly recommend picking up. So if you are interested, I will include links in the description to where you can purchase these on Big Bad Toy Store because that's where I purchased mine. So make sure you check those links. Go grab yourself both or at the very least one of these amazing Tyrannosaurs and make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you in the next review. Thanks for watching.